All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel today. I am in the house with the collaboration between Shirodorov and Dmitry Sinkovich uh, because they made this pretty cool bio flipper uh, right over here and uh, we're going to check it out. But as usual, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and uh, check out fablades.com. Let me know what you guys think about that website and also fablades on Instagram. Why not? Uh, classic brown box for the collaboration. Classic certificate of authenticity with number uh, numbered. Of course, there's 300 of these made. 150 for the North American market and 150 for uh, Russia. And uh, of course, classic microfiber cloth. And of course, we got this beauty right over here. We're gonna check it out in a second. Let's just check the. Measurements first, we got 10 centimeters or 4 inches if you prefer in cutting edge, but I prefer centimeters because uh, you know why. And uh, it's 13 centimeters for the handle. Overall length is going to be 22 and a half. And that is it. I want to show you a couple of... Uh, uh, size comparison right over here, you get a large Sebenza 21, small 21, just to give you an idea of uh, how full of a size knife uh, uh, this guy is a um, couple option of course from Shiro we got a F95 antique and a uh, neon bronze OG just to give you an idea pretty much same deal going on over here I want to also show you like uh, these two fellas because I'm in love with these carbon fiber guys duck from uh, Cody, U uh, Cody Utzler and that's the NL uh, neon from Shiro as well but here we are with this uh, beautiful uh, knife this is a premium knife guys um, uh, they are being sold uh, uh, only through lotto system so you need to uh, get drawn uh, for the lotto to be able to purchase this guy and it's um, uh, 1650 so not really cheap uh, this is a premium knife and it feels like a premium knife because it is a premium knife and uh, it's um, very very expensive it's limited uh, there is n it's not a production i mean it's a there's 300 of these made uh, you can find this in um, uh, two um, configuration basically this is the light and also you can find the dark which is the reverse uh, configuration so you're gonna have raw hardware and the spacer and clip and you're gonna have darkened scales which is gonna be always titanium but with a super high voltage procedure process to darken up this titanium beautiful this is a frame lock um, and uh, it was uh, it's a second frame lock I believe um, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong 100% but recently we got we get um, we got a Kami uh, flipper which was a nice frame lock uh, kind of like uh, reminiscent some details are reminiscent uh, from the Kami um, classic uh, Sinkovich design of course uh, made accessible through Shirogorov which is making these at a, let's say an accessible price because the the, the, the bio flipper from uh, Sinkovich yeah good luck uh, getting one finding one and paying for one it's not gonna be 1700 bucks for sure it's gonna be more so this is an accessible way to own a Sinkovich design made by Shirogorov in the form of uh, the light bio and uh, it's just uh, fantastic. It's not perfect. There's a couple of uh, nitpicks that I have, but overall is just a gorgeous one. We can start from the milling, which is uh, just mesmerizing. Really, really well made. Something uh, uh, extremely time consuming. Uh, look at this line over e here which just starts like very tiny and then just widens up to the heel. Uh, these are 3D contoured scales. These are not flat like the Kami. So we have a 3D contouring for the scale, extensive milling, internal milling. Um, you have internal skeletonization, a lot of uh, lightning pockets going on on the inside. Um, it's extremely well machined, like on and very corner, guys. Like there is not a single uh, millimeter that is has been left uh, 
uh, untouched or just, I mean, everything just exuding quality. As, as, as usual, I have to say, all the collaboration, they all are a step above the, the regular production knives um, from Shiro. But this is, uh, has that premium feel when you just hold this thing in the hand. So I also have to say that I disassembled this guy. I did a little bit of maintenance. You can also check out my video about that. And I improved the action, I, I have to say, because uh, right out of the factory, there's nothing like this. It's not gonna be drop shutty or anything. You're gonna have a little bit of a thick grease to get rid of if you wanna achieve this level of action. You're gonna have to change the lube in the bearings and on the detent bolt for sure. Uh, but I mean, uh, this uh, this pattern is just fantastic. Um, it reminds me the DNA in, in in a way. I don't know why uh, this. Uh, uh, pivot is uh, uh, spinning, uh, so it's not like captive as in the custom division, but it's gorgeously sculpted, uh, rem uh, reminiscent of uh, some flowers in nature. Uh, of course, that would be the theme for this uh, knife uh, being called the bio or bio. Um, you will notice that this requires uh, uh, Sinkovich uh, uh, bits, so this is a proprietary um, hardware that you're gonna be needing to take this guy apart. These are two different screws. They come uh, with the, uh, the Sinkovich tool, which you can uh, purchase actually only from uh, um, uh, show special. So that's gonna be tricky, but also you can buy a regular uh, Sinkovich pen uh, with the Sinkovich bits, which is going to be pretty easy. I mean, let's say easier to obtain um, rather than the limited uh, Sinkovich uh, cyber tools. So just go for the pen and you're going to be fine. You have uh, a crazy, crazy extensive work going on over here, guys. Uh, uh, like the internal, um, externally uh, screwed uh, lock face uh, insert in stainless steel to reduce the lock stick, which I have to say, there is no lock stick in this one. There's no shear stick going on in this one, but there is a, just a little imperceptible. I don't know if you can hear it, probably not, but it's uh, microscopic, uh, imperceptible, uh, it's not stick. I, I, I don't want to call it stick because it's not. There is nothing that's sticky here, but it's uh, it's like my F5. So there is a little bit of a, a very, very tiny, let's say, resistance, but definitely not, uh, uh, not a lock stick. Uh, then you have a pretty simple construction, as I said, two screws, one for the body, one for the pivot. They uh, leave the show side absolutely clean, fantastic. I really love this backspacer, very nice and long, reaches really up there and just, you know, just comes out very, very gently, beautiful. Uh, look at, look at this progressively widening, uh, jimping on the backspacer, which then narrows down. And look at the micro milling going on on the side, right next to the lanyard uh, hole. Um, just beautifully done. Look, look at this. I mean, from this perspective, you can see how crazy they are. Look at the centering backspacer just to show off. Uh, yeah, because they can. That's just beautiful. You get three pins underneath this scale to center the backspacer. You have this pocket clip, which is tip up carry only titanium 3D sculpted. It is fantastic in the pocket, very slim overall knife. But this pocket clip, look at the profile in and out of the pocket like a boss. I love it. It's just gorgeous how it fits in the pocket and how it just sits in the pocket. Uh, you have an externally uh, milled uh, lock bar relief cut with some very, very fine milling. Look at that. Nothing has been left um, like to the chance. Of course, the Pocket clip is resting on the frame, not on the lock bar, which is good. Um, then you get uh, um, a very, very late, uh, like at this point. So that's the angle you're gonna get uh, uh, when the 
ball, uh, the detent ball is touching the tank of the blade at the beginning of the detent ball ramp, which is pretty, pretty long, up to kind of like this point. So this is pretty much reminiscent of the quantum, so very late uh, uh, detent ball ramp, and we really don't need the detent ball ramp in many cases. I mean, uh, like in this fella, there's no detent ball ramp, so you have like this hard step right here, okay? But it's fine because, I mean, right? It's so fine. I really don't need the beaten ball ramp, especially when it's this long. But I have to say, it is very, very smooth. Uh, the access to the ramp is just very, very smooth. You have like the, of course, at this part where the lock bar is just rubbing up against the tang of the blade. And then just hits the, you see, it's the detent ball and just goes up, 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 and right there is on the tank. So that is a not necessary uh, thing which creates like other issues, like the rubbing of this part, which, I mean, it's fine, it's not a biggie, but still, I rather have uh, no rubbing and no detent ball and just a classic. Uh, a classic detent uh, with a hole like as it always has been but I understand the appeal of the detent ball ramp I like it of course but uh, sometimes it introduces other aspects which yeah you know like the one I said um, guys we also have this pretty cool blade uh, this is M398 uh, steel which seems like a, a very uh, interesting steel that Shiro Gorov is using uh, uh, in the uh, latest uh, models, like higher-end uh, uh, stuff, not the production. Uh, you get uh, this pretty interesting jimping, which uh, you can maybe see better, like, from this angle, which goes up and then goes down. It is not like the zero jimping. It is more uh, reminiscent of a kind of... Uh, custom division, so there is a little bit more bite to it, still not uh, uh, as bitey as the F95 that I just showed you, but uh, still uh, very, very nice. And then, guys, look at this. You have the, 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 the nicest swedge. Look at this swooping swedge that starts from the end of the jimping and reaches right over here to create this diamond shape like uh, uh, pattern on the spine of the blade, both sides, very, very long uh, swedge, which kind of, from certain angles, it, it seems, it just, it, it's, it's like a, an illusion and it just, it seems like you have a Persian blade. Look at this. But it's not, clearly. Very, very nice and even goes down. It's just a gorgeous uh, uh, design. You have a flat grind. You have uh, like probably 50% belly, super finely uh, stone wash. This is the custom division stone wash finish, which is mesmerizing and satin flats uh, for this uh, blade, which is 3.2 millimeters uh, in thickness. You have the Shirogoro logo hatched uh, right over there and uh, Sinkovich design logo on the lock side. You have uh, uh, M398 engraved right up there. Um, so overall, this is a fantastic blade shape. Look at the plunge grind. Look at how thin behind the edge this guy is. Look at this, look at that. And you have finally, see, no finger choil, but sharpening choil, which leaves meat outside of the plunge grind to to increase the sharpening life of this fella, which is uh, really, really outstanding. For the sound, guys, this, th this thing is snappy. It's not quiet. This thing is loud, but it's menacing. I love this sound. When you close this guy, boom, and snap, and boom. Ooh. Guys, gorgeous sound. Uh, the the weight I want to check in the uh, pocket. This fella, you're gonna feel how much? 114 
4.5 grams, which is 4.04 ounces. Not too bad for a full-size knife, guys, with a perfect grip, zero hot spots. The, the jimping is good. This guy is just glued into my hand, textured handles, perfect locking. Uh, I mean, my hand just locks him to place and just, just oh, wants to go to town with this guy. Um, nothing is flexing. There's nothing moving. It's just like, uh, it's perfect. Um, so uh, it's very well put together. This long backspacer adds a lot of rigidity to the overall structure. It's... Um, it's just truly fantastic, nothing flexing, there's nothing rattling. Um, you have uh, uh, very, very nice jimping, which really feels like sticky when you do the light switch button. Of course, there's no push button option in this guy. You're just gonna have to do a light switch and this guy is gonna deploy 100% reliably. I love uh, this fact that you have this part over here when you close the knife just meets this part and just contouring and, and just continues right over here going up and down I, I just love it uh, I can see maybe some people complaining about the flipper tab which might be small or hard so uh, one uh, piece of advice just don't put any pressure on the lock bar just hold it like that and boom you're gonna be fine this guy's gonna deploy with like uh, such authority that sometimes it's kind of scary. It's uh, it's running on multi-row bearing system, MRBS, Sinkovich Design, Mickey Mouse Lollipop configuration. Check out my maintenance video if you want to see the guts of this fella because there's some nice milling pocket, nicely done, 100%. This backspacer is gorgeous. I mean, the action is... Uh, proverbial, MRBS, Shirogorov drop shot like superbly shutty when it drops. Guys, this is a fantastic knife. It's not perfect. Uh, it's very expensive. It's limited, but come on, it's gorgeous. It's uh, a collaboration between uh, one of the most prolific and geniuses uh, designer in the knife community, Sinkovich, and one of the most... Uh, I mean, one of the best knife maker on the planet, Shiro Gorov. There you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.